Welcome back, my adventure boys and girls. This is another episode brought to you by Two Chain Steve on 31480V. All right, so we've got uh, the first installment of four on uh, a fantastic trip down to Kentucky, uh, where a bunch of uh, let's let's put it this way, out of shape middle-aged men riding bikes that were too big to go places they shouldn't go, got together and did exactly that. So after loading up all our bikes and getting together, we ended up at Callie's campground where we had a fantastic uh, first night just sitting around, telling lies around the fireplace, kind of prepping and preparing for what we we're going to be doing and just getting a good feel for, for the fantastic Kentucky area. Woke up the next morning, uh, got our stuff together, had a nice cup of coffee and headed out as soon as, uh, as soon as well, 9.30 hit because, you know, we're, we're kind of older. We just don't like to go that fast. So also I want to give a shout out to Don Smith on YouTube for having the only actual video I know that accurately tells you how to record group audio while using a Cardo Pack Talk open mesh deep? system. Thank you uh, so much. That's good. This is okay. what you're getting to experience. On your left, Larry. Okay, come on around, buddy. Yeah. And up there. Yeah, it just died. I never have the purple. This is a I saw this in the video, I think. There's probably a thousand more just like it. Shit. That's my balance. Come on. Ah. Jesus. Is that the secret, Steve? <laughs> Steve, it might have followed you. I don't know. Oh, oh shit. So after accidentally getting separated within the first hour of riding, we finally caught up with each other and got back at it. Also, a uh, quick thanks to Moscow Moto for uh, replacing a, a bent pannier rack. I think we just used it too many times to pull that bike up. Pretty good. That's not too bad, huh? If you don't know what's there, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a nice rock jump at the top. Sweet. And a big puddle on the other side. I'm going to take one of these ruts. I think. Maybe that was stupid. Now, in the four days that we rode on the Kentucky Adventure Tour, I got to tell you, I don't think there was a single person that we came across or met that was rude or disrespectful or upset that we were in their neighborhood. Uh, everybody was gracious and kind. And so I want to give a thanks to everyone from Kentucky for being such great hosts. You got your blinker out, Scott? Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's Steve's job. That's my job, man. Can't take that. <laughs> I'm worried about, not the rear. <laughs> that bud stinks. I guess I'll keep going. Sure. <laughs> Get out of everybody's way. Cool. Thank you. These cameras working. I think we got it. Hey, okay, thank you. Last one. This is whole melt cool. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. 
Come on, fuck yeah. yeah. Whole milk, bro. Stop for the whole milk. Mike, I got you on the video. Alright, cool. Alright, don't do anything stupid. We got more creek and more flat rock. More creek. More creek coming up. This is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. This looks awesome. This looks like I'm in Disney World. Or something like that. So we had a total of eight riders with us on this trip. We had two BMW uh, 800 GS. We had two BMW 1200 GS. We had a Husqvarna 701 Enduro. We had two uh, Tiger 800, and we had uh, one uh, Honda CRF 450. What's really neat about this group is that it actually started um, with a bunch of solo riders getting together for an adventure ride in Missouri in 2018. And since then, we have been uh, adding a few people here and there, uh, but riding together at least three to four times a year as a group, and uh, it's just been fantastic. I get asked from time to time why I like riding with guys with bigger bikes, and I'll be quite honest with you. I really don't care what kind of bike you ride or what kind of skill level you have. What I care about is your attitude and whether or not you're there to help support and promote a good time. So, good shout out to the original Gravel Grinders. Woohoo! You rock. This is fun. This, uh, this is awesome. <laughs> Uh, we're actually going down the creek now. I don't know how deep it is yet, but I'm going to down. Uh, Did you stick to your right? Up against that bank? Right side's a big rut. There you go, Steve. Right you side's a big rut? Yeah. Try left, Steve. What's that? Which side? Left, because right side is deep. Uh, no, not too bad. Oh, oh we can do what Steve is doing. No, don't really? Come, don't come up here. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> much, I'm doing this to catch nope, you guys. Don't, don't come up here. <laughs> Go ahead, Scott. Sorry. Technical little piece there. How far behind them are you? Hit her hard. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's a big run on that, on that right. Big run on the right. So yeah, stay hit left. hard. This clip. Did you hurt yourself? What that? It's it's okay. I mean, the time you have your heart bag on. Oh shit! Ah oh, man, really? <laughs> shit! Reach your teller. <laughs> I, I'm going to make a prediction. We're not going to get the whole thing done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
Everything hurts. Sometimes. you'll notice in these videos this is a fairly new bike to me i picked up the honda crf 450 uh, rl about two months ago uh, put about a thousand miles on it before heading out to the cat and i have to say it has per it, it performed fantastic outside of my idle speed being a little bit too low so you'll notice i stall it uh, probably three or four times throughout these videos um, it just it was fantastic um, i didn't really have to worry about where i went with it So Scott is probably the newest member to the OGG group, uh, riding on a white tiger. And I have to say, you really impressed, I think everybody we rode with. So, I mean, you're an experienced rider, uh, particularly street rider, but as, when it comes to dual sport and adventure, you, outside of riding some, some gravel roads in Indiana, this is your first real off-road adventure that I'm aware of. And, and I have to say, fantastic, kudos. Other than a little slip here and a couple more somewhere else, um, what an amazing job you did. So we love having you with us. Keep riding with us. Keep pushing your skills. Uh, you're, you're phenomenal. Coming up. There you go. There you go. Alright. Alright. Now, go up here. Oh, you hit, it, it took a reflector in there. Oh, that's all. That's all. No bigger. You got it, man. You got it. Beautiful job. Alright. Way to go. Woo! Good job. Boy. I thought, I thought you, you gotta ride the wall, boy. No, I'm good. I'm dead. I have to ride the run out. Like the daredevil, guys. <laughs> Boyd, I appreciate that. What? Because I wouldn't have been able to stop. I wouldn't have wanted to stop. How's that? Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's ruddy, but I think staying the one I was in. <laughs> Shit. Come. I'm walking down. Yeah. Oops. 
Well, there's a bar crash. Yeah. Yeah. Piss break. Oh, this is great fun, man. What's that? <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. See come up here. Don't go into the mud pit. Go to your right. I passed it. I get a cramp right when I'm going through the mud. The good thing in there. Yep. Yeah, we going right or we going? <coughs> We're taking a piss break. There's somebody popped out over there. Larry, go right. Okay, yeah. We're gonna go right. I'm not sure who was having more fun. These four wheelers just going back and forth through the mud hole or us watching them actually doing it. So after a good day of playing in the mud and doing some ruts and hills, we headed in town to grab some snacks and supplies before uh, making our way on. Wish I would have got this next part. It was absolutely fantastic, rocky, rutted road. But we made it to camp. We got set up outside of poor Parmander losing his uh, tent and sleeping bag. We made him make shift one for the night until the next day we were able to go get him some, uh, go get him something at Walmart. Well, thanks for sticking with me. We've got three more to come. If you enjoy them, watch them. Hit like and subscribe. Otherwise, see you on the next go around.